Fortnite has an FPS stuttering problem. Even professional players like Peter Bot and Clicks have been experiencing these annoying frame drops. Chat, is this season this bad? Like, why are my frames dropping to zero every second, man? And they've got super powerful high-end PCs. So if you've been struggling with Fortnite stutters, you're definitely not alone, as these performance issues are actually quite common, especially at the start of new seasons when major changes are introduced, like a new map or even new areas. These stutters are happening because of how Fortnite handles something called shaders. Shaders are what make the game look good. They control things like lighting and effects. The problem is though, your PC sometimes needs to process these effects while you're playing, which does in turn cause those frustrating frame drops. To minimise this issue, Fortnite added a feature called DirectX 12 shaders that allows the game to precast shaders before you even load into a match. However, there's no such option for DirectX 11, where the shaders are loaded dynamically, meaning they get compiled on the fly during gameplay. However, this is where it gets really interesting, because both DirectX 11 and 12 can experience this issue where the Fortnite client itself repeatedly tries to recompile shaders without stopping, and this can cause severe FPS stutters. So if you're still experiencing FPS stutters, or you even get severe ones, you can try the following effective fixes. The first one is to clear your shader cache. Now this is an advanced fix, and and it's something that Epic Games have actually provided an official guide on, but I do only recommend this guide if you are experiencing severe, and I mean severe stutters, because this will temporarily make the performance worse while the new shaders are recompiled. I personally recommend you try this instead. If you go onto your desktop, open up the run box and type in this command, then follow this directory until you see the Fortnite game folder, which is essentially your config. If you delete this, then open up the game, you will have a fresh folder which basically removes all outdated files. From there, if you go into the settings, you'll notice they've all been reset. It's all good. All you have to do now is put them all down to the lowest, as this will lighten the load on your GPU, meaning less shader compilation. After that, you can ensure that your GPU drivers are up to date. As you'll find with the newer driver versions, they often include optimization fixes. From my experience, they seem to improve the performance and stability of my games. And lastly, it's really important that you go ahead and explore all of the map. This is even something that Epic Games try and push you to do as a sort of grey out undiscovered parts of the map in hopes that you will discover them, which in turn will add to your shader cache. But if you're still experiencing persistent FPS drops or even FPS stutters after trying these fixes, I have made a longer, more in-depth tutorial on how to fix these, which I'll put on screen and leave in the description below.